That was Al B. Shore off on your own, girl. I hope that he's uh, on the mend and feeling better. Um, at first, it was black people. Uh, and then it was uh, Jewish people. And then it was Chinese people. And then it was Latin people. And then it was gay people. And now it's Asian people again. Um, everybody uh, is in the scope of white supremacy once in a while. And our best... Uh, at our best opportunity lies in recognizing white supremacy as a problem for all of us and interceding on everyone's behalf. There were eight uh, uh, people killed in Atlanta last night. Um, eight Asian, uh, two, six, six were women. There has been an influx, an uptick in uh, Asian violence. Uh, and, it's, and it's funny because if we're going to be violent uh, and racist, we better know geography, too, because they've attacked everything from Filipinos to Taiwanese. So uh, if, if we're going to be racist, I remember when they were mad at the Muslims, uh, they attacked Sikhs. So if we're going to be racist, we might as well learn geography, too. If we're going to hate people, it might, it might as well be the right people. Um, everybody gets their turn in the barrel, and when they win is when we say nothing when it happens to somebody else. We say nothing as long as it ain't us. We say nothing as long as, you know, they leave us alone. It's about time somebody got that turn in their bear. Misery shouldn't love company because everybody, every single person who is outside of their paradigm, outside of what they believe is valuable, will get that turn in the bear. Let me ask you something. What are you when you refuse to take a vaccine, even though you know it could benefit your fellow man? What do you know? What are you when you refuse to wear a mask? What are you when you refuse to vote to denounce violence against Asian people? What are you when you refuse to say anything about voter suppression? What are you when you refuse to denounce a man who uses violence as his calling card? What are you when you refuse to govern fairly and try to help? What are you when you turn a blind eye while people are dying in the streets? What are you when children, when you look away when children are in cages? What are you when you pretend to be governing and you're not? What are you when you are so selfish, when you are so uh, so so selfish, so small, so myopic, that putting a piece of cloth over your face, though it could benefit someone else, is too is a task too much? You most likely are a Republican. That's most likely what you are. That is most likely your affiliation. And I think clearly the Democrats are right to do the things they want to do, govern the way they want to without their help. The filibuster is a tool that they have used to stop American people. And, uh, you know, because here's the thing, whether people like it or not, we're getting browner and blacker and gayer and fatter and higher. That's the, America's shifting. And there are people who are standing in the way of that. Right now, people are saying, no, we want things to go back. But our best path forward, our best way forward is together. If you look at what happened in Georgia... It was black people, brown people, young people, and a lot of Asian people. It was a coalition. If you, if Joe Biden did want, not win at, at Georgia, he won Atlanta. He did not win Pennsylvania, he won Philadelphia. He did not win Wisconsin, he won Milwaukee. He did not win Arizona, he won Phoenix and the surrounding areas. He won where black people, brown people, Asian people, Latin people all live together, and young people all live together. He won on Martin Luther King, King Boulevard. He won on Cesar Chavez Boulevard. He won on, uh, on a, and a couple of casinos. Our best path forward, our best way forward, is to recognize that all of us get our turn in the barrel under the wheel of white supremacy. All of us. It doesn't matter whether you're black or brown or Jewish or gay or, or straight or young. One day, if you're an other, you will get your turn. And our best way is to not ignore it when it happens to somebody else, because sooner or later, you will get your turn. There's an old African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And we should best heed that. That's a little note from the GED section. we got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the D.L. Hughley Show.